Hi everyone, happy Wednesday to you. January has been a real productive month for me, being able to reorganize everything on this wall and then on the back wall, but I still have a lot of work to do on the right wall. So I really do like the setup I've got on the right wall with the shelves and the workbench and my tools, but as you get to the lower end of the corner, this is where the tragedy takes place. I still have a lot of wood misplaced and clamp racks on a workbench nothing really in organization so instead of tearing the whole wall down what i've decided to do was just organize it and place the items where they need to go on the back and left wall what better place to start than here with the workbench that i just took apart from my last video and you can see that video i put that description down below but the clamps are now piled up on that workbench. I want to use this workbench for my designated spot for my joiner planer that I got there on the end. So we're going to start today by building a clamp rack. So let's get started. I'm going to start by measuring off five inches from the end of the plywood and cutting off some strips five inches long. with your table saw, but I'm just going to use my circular saw and the board as a guide. You can then take your cutoff piece you just cut and use that as a marker for your next line. Just remember to make sure you leave enough space between the blade and the end for your cut. In my case, it's an inch and three eighths. Now I'm going to glue the two pieces together. I've got my stop block set up so I can cut these six inches in length. I now move my stock block over to three inches from the blade and we're going to cut these at 39 degrees. I move my stock block five and three quarters over on the opposite side and put a five degree cut on the top side of the clamp rack that's going to give it a nice ledge to sit on. Now with this glue and brad nail it in place until we can get some screws into the back of it. We'll space these out about one inch apart.
would like to thank you for watching today and hope you enjoyed today's build of the pipe clamp rack for the storage. Also, the lathe rack. If you want to take a look at it, click the link right here to take you to the lathe rack that I made here hanging on the wall. Still got some cleaning to do, but it's come a long way since the first week of January. So I appreciate you sticking with me and looking at all the things I've done to upgrade the shop. And always remember, be kind to one another. Now we can glue and brad nail to the back of the backer boards the pieces that we just cut. Hey honey, what are you doing? Well, I'm shooting my video right now, honey. What you need? Come here a minute. I want to show you something. Hey, can you make this? Today I'm going to make a laptop stand. Steve Carmichael? Really? You don't even watch my videos. He's my favorite woodworker. Look, he's so cute. Well, isn't he the polybrachygyne of YouTube?